This is what I get up to during the week when I'm calling it work. Oh, Jack's outside eating his bones. Um, yeah, I do a lot of interviews. I seem to be being interviewed at least once a week. This time, it's with a media company in Belarus. It's, I feel like I'm in the Eurovision Song Contest. I'll show you a bit when we start. I must go and link up with them. Uh, I, I think between you and me, it's going to be a little bit painful because every question is going to be in English and then translated or the other way around. Anyway, it's going to be a long process. This is Anna in Belarus, and I feel like I'm in the Eurovision Song Contest. The Belarus, how many points? How dix points? Um, so speak some. So you speak Belarus and Russian and yes, English. Yes. So say yes. hello, welcome to whatever town you're in in Belarus. Привитание с Беларуси, с Минску. It sounds just yes, like Russian. Hi from the Belarus, from Minsk. Oh, you're in Minsk. I'm sorry? You're in Minsk. I finished the interview. Oh my goodness, I was right. It was painful. The painful part was because I worked in television for so long, I know that if you want 15 minutes worth of sound bites, for want of a better word, you don't need to interview somebody for an hour. And this is what keeps happening to me. Three minute videos, an hour. 15 minutes today, they would have gone on if I hadn't said, can this be the last question, please? Because my voice gets really tired and I've got filming to do because I've got to show you this dress with the surprise that I promised last week. So yes, that was pretty painful. And also they asked me questions I was really uncomfortable about answering, like, how do they, what sort of pension do you get? And how do you, how does the government decide who gets what? And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not an expert. I really don't want to talk about this. So it wasn't the best. Hmm. More saying no in future, I think. Oh, God, it's going out all over Belarus. I hope it's not going out anywhere else. No, I don't think it will. Hopefully it will be buried. All right. <laughs> See you in a bit. about them is that they if you cover your nose they steam your glasses up but how is this for a match i've done a little video for instagram but it's wonderful you wanted to see some of my vintage right let's take this off <sighs> some of my vintage style dresses well what a remarkable woman who runs it ronky you're an absolute star Love Your Look clothing has always been ethical. She makes all her beautiful dresses, which you'll see lots more in a minute. Jack's barking, sorry about that. Um, she makes them all in India and looks after her workers big time and uses vintage material, here's just one of them, wherever possible and uses upcycled material and buttons. Look at the detail on here as much as possible. Now, the face masks is her latest venture. What a good girl, because what she's done, knowing perfectly well that none of us are going to be buying loads of summer dresses till we know that we can actually go out and wear them, is to take all her cutoffs and all the material that's left over from her designs and she's made them into face masks and I bought them 
because she's supporting a charity in India that looks after the street dogs because of course with all the shops closed and the restaurants closed and the cafes closed the people who look after the street dogs can no longer so half of the money from these face masks is going to save the doggies but she's also made I'll get closer you can see it headbands to match now I haven't got headbands for all of my masks but how nice to have headbands and masks to match my dress another one coming up I'm sorry it's in portrait mode um but it just won't cut if I keep moving from portrait for Instagram to for YouTube and there isn't enough room on the landscape for that so please forgive me the shoes in case you're wondering are very old and they're from fit flop not flip flop fit flop so they're mega comfortable and they're going to go with every single dress i'm showing you and actually this bag my lovely vintage bag that a friend gave me will also go with every single dress so you'll just see a change of headscarf mask and sunglasses from now on i forgot to say because this is pink and I haven't got a pink dress, I'm also going to show that on the IGTV video because that's really cute as well. Look, it's pick, picked out the pink in the dress and in the belt. Um, so yeah, that's a goodie, isn't it? My headband would normally be over my ears, but because of the mask situation, it can't be, but more coming up. They're steaming up my glasses. Oh, um, but isn't that an awesome mask, doesn't it? Oh, she looks so pretty, all the pink and green. What do you think, girls? And such a worthy cause, and we're all going to have to wear them. So at least we can be colour coordinated. I'll put these on here just to add a little genus because I think a big scarf and these and my sunnies might be a tad over the top what do you think anyway this bag will work again now let's get on with some more so all these dresses are from the same place some of them from last year's collection some are in this year's collection but I really hope you get into the face masks because I think this is awesome. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you. Mm, they also have, look, little hole in there. So you can put a proper protective filter in there, which I will be doing because, as you know, we're supposed to wear face masks for the supermarket, busy shops, busy beaches probably, because everyone's going to be out now and um, transport, most importantly. So, girls, if you're going to the office, you're allowed to work, you can be colour-coordinated too. How's that for a fashion statement in the middle of a pandemic? So this is very much a clashy, 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 isn't it? Um, gorgeous fabric, but you know how much I love to clash a pattern so I don't mind that they're not matchy 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 um however one thing I've learned don't wear lipstick I was going to put red solid lipstick on but of course that's going to go all over the mask they are washable though that's the good news I'm going to take these off can you see all right yes so I've got bare feet on now but this dress is in this year's collection so you can buy this one online what i particularly love about them is that it's apart from being upcycled wherever possible that they've all got pockets and how cool are pockets oh i tell you another top tip that i would do i'm not sure that the scarf and the mask together may be too much i don't know i look like a nurse um but i tell you another thing i would do with this dress and what I love about it is that I wore it in Australia because 
it's come up a size too big for me, but I love its froppiness and the fact that in intense heat, you can just look half decent for a walk around town when it's hot. Um, but for tarting it up and making it look a little bit more smart um, is stick a petticoat, a 50s petticoat underneath. Now, if you're in the UK, Viviana Holloway does masses of these 50s style petticoats. See, isn't that better? So if I'm dressing up, well, I won't be dressing up to go to a do with a mask on, will I? Because none of us will be. But how's that for an outfit? Mask or no mask? So it just gives it, and they're really reasonable, these petticoats, and they really make it. So what do you think, girls? I think Jack's about to photobomb our session, naughty little boy. Anyway, you must have seen this one, this dress before. It's an oldie, but it's from the same place, and it is my go-to dress. Every time I'm asked to give a talk and it's not quite summertime yet, um, or photo shoots, um, because it's black with lovely colours, I'm more than happy to pull this out with a big petticoat underneath um, for any eventuality. So that would be a good one just to do zoom in because it looks like a gorgeous blouse, doesn't it? And look at that mask. How awesome is that pattern? I hate talking to you like this because you can't see me smiling. But doesn't that work well with this one? Thought you'd like. <laughs> I, think, I think I look a little bit sinister. Here's Jack. Jack, say hello. Oh no, he's decided to run away. I'm getting exhausted. Um, I've run out of masks now, but they do say use anything. This is one of my Susie Sue scarves, so it's beautiful, soft, what was sacking for meat. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it's called, this material, but it's really soft, it's cotton. Oh God, it'll come back to me in a minute. In a minute. So, I've taken the belt from this dress, which is also this year's from Love Your Look Clothing, link below. Um, same sandals, fit flops. But I've just taken one of my scarves and just done that. How's that? Works beautifully. So, oh, very difficult to talk though. Um, you'll see them all cut together at the end as I did for Instagram, but this is your special time. So again, this bag goes just beautifully. So do the shoes, I might pop a petticoat underneath. I would of course have orange lipstick on, but that's thinking out of the box, isn't it? Belt on top. New belt here. Now, where do I get my belts is going to be your next question, isn't it? Um, again, if you're in the UK, I'm sure they ship overseas as well. Vivian of Holloway. All of these came from Vivian of Holloway. Whoops. I'll put the link below. But wherever you are, all you have to do is Google 50s belts, elasticated belts. And they just, don't they, is this orange fab? They just completely make an outfit. I hope you agree. So girls, there will be more on, um, looking at myself in the mirror, how vain. There will be more on more dresses soonest. But now I need to take Jack for a walk. We're in the leafy lane again, but look, we have a whole field of buttercups. Well, I've made a bit of an effort for one of our favourite walks. Actually, I tell a lie. I've only made an effort because it's very windy today, even though it's warm. So that's why the headscarf's on. 
Look a bit dressed up, don't I, for a country walk. Got my Adidas jacket on. Um, and all's well with the world. Come on, Jack. Let's go up that hill. <sighs> oh, puff, puff. Up the hill to our lovely favourite walk. Whoops. Oh, there's a car coming. What's that doing on this dirt track? That wonderful walk I showed you a couple of weeks ago off the South Downs. What a difference a day makes. So cloudy, but so gorgeous and still mild. Tired, Jack? Jack's very tired. He's perked up because he's off his lead. Life goes on. Down the hill now, there's the sea. We can't see it again, because it's so cloudy. Come on, little Jack. Hello, beautiful. Oh, they're having their lunch, aren't they? Brown lunch, Jack. Right, lovely. Oh, stop. Why do I start everything with right? Right. Um, okay. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the little walk. Sorry, we're now into repetition on our soon to be eighth week. I hope you like the dresses. Um, I did get lots of questions. Um, so when I have nothing to put into my weekly vlog, uh, I will address the questions. I can't remember who they were from, but I have got a note of them. Um, I My back garden isn't tidy enough for you to see. And also there's no colour at the moment. It's all green, green, green. But I will end this video with a quick tour around the front garden, which is also without flowers. The peonies came out, they were gorgeous, and now the second set are about to burst forth, but not quite yet. But I will end the video with, I know you love to see a garden, so I'll end it with that, because nice man who helps me with the heavy stuff has tidied that one beautifully. And the back garden's nearly done and I'm absolutely exhausted. Who knew gardening was so tiring? Anyway, just a couple of top tips before I go. Da, 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 da. Bit of beauty, bit of fashion, bit of beauty, bit of health. Um, this is from Sarah Chapman. Now, I don't know if it works or not, but it's far quicker than all those facial exercises. Sarah Chapman, I'll put below, but it's like a facial massager and you do it here six times, five times, whatever. Do you know, it really hurts initially, which shows that the lymph is a bit blocked. And then you do it here. And then you do it under the eyes, which I won't do now. Um, and then you tap all over to get the circulation going. So this is now something I do. There we are, I do around there. Uh, every night, uh, well, when I remember, and every morning. So... While I can't get a facial or do a proper one at home, I'm doing that. But don't forget, if you're doing that, that motion, you need to also do this, which she doesn't add, to get it all into the lymph to be taken out of your body. So that's one of my little top tips. The other one is, it's getting very hot and very sunny. More this week in the UK and probably elsewhere all over Europe and the world, you're hotting up. So I was sent sun scents before I went to Australia to try out. I have to tell you, I'm still using it here because I want 50 factor on my face and these are both SPF 50. But what I particularly like is, you know, I hate the term anti-aging, but it is called anti-aging face helps reduce wrinkles but what i really don't know if it does but what i really love about it is the texture oops and i use that oh now i need to go and do something with it 
I use that on my arms um, just to protect that wrinkly bit. But this one, when it comes out, come on, you little bugger. This one is coloured. So it is with an absolute pleasure that I put that on every single day. I have put a bit of blusher on just for you. But it, it's, I already had it on because it's the sunny-ish this morning. Um, but it gives, it's tinted. So it gives you a little base, invisible tint finish. Invisible. I think it's gorgeous. It just makes everything look a bit smoother. And who wants to put makeup on while we're in lockdown? Allowed to meet one friend. <gasps> so excited about that. So I'm going to go into Brighton and Hove or somewhere this week for the first time in over eight weeks to meet someone, anyone, a complete stranger. So on that completely mental note, I'll say bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really thrilled with all the comments you leave. Thank you so much. You know, I always answer them. If you have any questions, yes, ask away. That's why I'm here to cheer you up every week, I hope. Will you let me have a... <clears throat> oh, God, need to drink. Look, alternative aging mug. Will you let me have a week off soon, please, though? I need a week without any technology. So I've decided to do that at the beginning of June when my decorator's here at a safe distance. He's going to do my upstairs bedroom, so there'll be a new room to show you. Um, and I have to move way downstairs to another bedroom. So I might take that week off. You have warning, but I'm sure I'll find something to film this week as we're allowed out for as long as we like. All right, my lovelies, see you very soon. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I'm sort of not sticking to a routine and putting it up every Sunday. I like Sunday to do things like this, so it will probably be up on Mondays, but subscribe and then you'll know immediately. Stay alert. a euphorbia mm, one of my favorites because it smells of honey it's a i've forgotten the latin name meliflori meliflori something like that they do very very well here right so